Welcome to this new video on React Native. So today we'll be learning how to navigate between screens in a React Native app. Most applications are more than one screen. There has to be a way to be able to navigate between these screens in an app. In React Native, this is done through this module known as React Navigation, which is also recommended by the guys at React Native. React Navigation is a cross-platform module, so it can be used both for iOS and Android to be able to create a navigation interface. For those of you that are only interested in targeting iOS, React Native comes inbuilt with a Navigator iOS module, which you can use to do that. However, in this video, we're going to be sticking with React Navigation. So let's open up Expo and create a new project. Let's name the project Stack Navigator. There, project is open. Let's open up our favorite text editor. In my case, that is Visual Studio Code. And let's open up the project that we just created. Let's quickly test this out to see that if it's working. So there we have it, the app is currently working. Now let's install React Navigation. Opening up the terminal, Within the project folder, what you have to do is you have to type npm install save react navigation. The save flag will make sure that it gets added to our package.json file. Once react navigation is installed, what we also need to do is we need to run npm install in the folder. Because react navigation requires some dependencies which are missing and this will make sure that they get installed that way. Now that our dependencies are installed, we can just refresh the app over here. Let's come to our app.js. Here on top, let's import React Navigation. So what we'll want inside React Navigation is the Stack Navigator. So we'll say import Stack Navigator from React Navigation. Inside the default class app, let's remove this view component from here. Coming here at the bottom, what we'll do is we'll say constant app navigator is equal to stack navigator. And let's create two screens. Let's call the first one login screen. And it, and it needs to point to a screen, home screen. These here are the names of files that we are yet to create. And here, what we do is we'd say app navigator. Now let's create the two files. So let's create a new folder here. Let's call it screens. Create a new file inside screens. Let's call the first one login screen dot js. And let's just return over here a text field saying this is the login screen. So here you may have noticed that I quickly typed out a lot of the code. It's just basic boilerplate code which is created into a snippet when I create a new screen. So here at the top we're just importing React component from React. Next, we're importing a view, text, and style sheet. These are imported by default, whether we use them or not. We usually always need view and a text field also. Next, the name of the class that we're creating. And then we need to export the class that we're creating. Here, we just added that this is the login screen, which is a text. Similarly, let's create the home screen. And add a text here that says, this is the home screen. Now that we created the two screens, we need to import the two screens into our app.js so that app.js knows that they exist. So we say import login screen from
So what we did here was we imported the login screen.js file from the screens folder into the app.js. As you can see, we do not require to mention the extension of the file that we're importing. And we named that file login screen. This could be any name, but it makes sense to just name it the name of the actual file. Similarly, we imported home screen.js from the screens folder and we named it home screen. Now these two names are provided here to the stack navigator in which we have named two screens. So inside the stack navigator, we have said that we want two screens. One is the login screen. One is the home screen. The names over here on the left are the ones that are referenced by the methods of the stack navigator. Where they point to are the names of the files that we imported. So we imported the login screen. So the login screen here inside the stack navigator points to the imported login screen and the home screen inside the stack navigator points to the imported home screen. Now if we refresh the app, we should see the login screen. There you see the login screen is opened up, but there's no way for us to go to the home screen. So let's just create a button on the login screen that takes us to the home screen. Here in the import, let's import a button. And here below the text, let's add that button. It needs an on press property and it needs a title. Go to the home screen. And here inside the on press, we will use This dot props dot navigation dot navigate and go to the home screen. This is a method which comes from react navigation. It allows us to navigate to the screen name. This screen name is coming from here is the name given here. And this name home screen is coming from the name we've given here when we imported the file. So let's see if it works. There you see, this is the home screen and the back button automatically gets generated. If we click on that, it takes us back to the login screen. So this was a basic intro into using the Stack Navigator. In the next video, we learn how to add tabs at the bottom along with the Stack Navigator.